even dumb stuff I've learned yeah that like you women can use universal credit women can use child benefit as an income towards a mortgage you know how the fuck does that work how does a woman use child benefit towards an income to buy a property it's like yo ain't all that child benefit money supposed to go straight to the child or is it going on mortgages and Gucci purses and LV sliders? You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, as I'm saying, these women are taking a piss, you know, with this um, child like maintenance money and that. This is why, yeah, if I ever had a baby mom and that, bro, I'm not giving them no fucking child maintenance money. Give me a list of things that the child needs every month and I will pay for it. So I know where that fucking money is going. I guarantee you, like, there's so many guys out here, let's say like rappers and whatever, or footballers or NFL or basketball players and that. They're giving the chicks 10 grand a month for child maintenance. What the fuck for? What the fuck for? All the guy needs to do, let's say he's got money like that, yeah? If he wants to go over and beyond, pay the woman's rent so that she can live in a nice, safe area. The child can grow up in a flat. Living in a flat does not stunt your growth. Look at fucking Tyson Fury. He's like six foot eight or something like that. Him and his three rascal art brothers, or however many brothers he's got, was living in a fucking caravan. Tight as, tight as rascal art hill. They man, they're living in a matchbox. And they man, they still grew to six foot eight. So you don't need to live in a big mansion, yeah? Living in a, uh, a caravan or whatever, living in a small flat ain't going to stunt your growth. So a man should just pay for the rent. Let's say a man's got money like that. He's a footballer, NFL star, whatever. A basketball player and that. Pay for the rascal art. Um, a flat accommodation, so rent accommodation or whatever, that might be two grand in a nice area and that provide food and whatever and that, you know, stuff for the child and that that's it, I'm not giving no woman no fucking ten grand or two grand and that, because I guarantee you some of that money, she's gonna go and get her nails done, go and buy a handbag go and buy a petrol, why the fuck are you spending the money that was given for child maintenance on yourself not one pound should go on yourself the only time you should be spending money on yourself is if it's to do with the child. Let's say, for example, you need to put petrol in the car to take your child here, or you need to buy a bus fare to go and pick up your child, or whatever. You understand what I'm trying to say? Whatever money you spend that's not to do with your child directly, indirectly needs to be to do with your child. So I'll never be paying no, no child maintenance and that. No. I will buy all the things that you need that you usually buy for the child, which will allow you to spend more money on whatever you want to spend money on. So let's say the woman says, oh, well, you know, I spent about 400 pound on food for the child and extra curriculum activities, whatever. And okay, cool. That's how much it costs. All right, I'll pay that money. I'll pay that money. I'm not going to give you 400 pounds because what's going to happen? Child is going to stop going to football or boxing or taekwondo classes, whatever, and that. Is still demanding that four hundred pound. Where the fuck's the money going? Where's the spare money going? Fucking crazy, man.